What's going on, juggling friends? Thanks for tuning in to this week's Highlight Reel, where you'll find some of the best juggling videos posted on the web from week to week. Just like always, I wasn't able to show all the great videos I found. If you want to see the full list, become a patron at patreon.com for $1 a month. You've been watching Ken Cheung's 2016 WJF Profile video. Julius Pru also released his WJF Profile video. Both of them contain a bunch of tricks as they demonstrate all the cool stuff they can do. You definitely want to check out both of them. Lisa Juggler released a video called Box, where she does all kinds of, you guessed it, box patterns. Something I love about Lisa's juggling is that she pays attention to details. She's very focused on accuracy. All of Lisa's videos are great, but it definitely shows here. Stumbled across this video published by Fire Nui. Not sure what this dude's name is, but he's just jamming in his bedroom with some poi. I wanted to share this video because just like the last video with Lisa, this guy cares about details. Even though those strings are floppy, he's creating some really nice lines. This video comes from Gianpaolo Brescia. He's doing contact juggling accompanied by John Legend. This is such a beautiful video, most importantly because of the juggling, but it doesn't hurt that the music and the background are beautiful as well. I love it when I find juggling videos where it seems like the juggling and the natural order just go so well together. As those waves lap against the shore, it just seems right. Here's some performance juggling from this week coming from Eric Medina. This act is comprised mostly of clubs, all the way up to five clubs in fact, and it also includes some head bouncing. Doing anything on a stage comes with a huge set of challenges. You may be able to juggle in your bedroom or at a club, but when you get on stage there's just something about it that makes it a lot harder. So a performance with so few airs demonstrates that someone has really mastered the craft. I'm going to be honest with you, I think Kendama videos are kind of boring. It's hard to make watching Kendama fun. But Will Scheib did just that. By filming in a tropical environment, being laid back and having fun, I found this a delight to watch. Andrew Olson released another video where he's experimenting with three balls. Andrew has a ton of videos on his YouTube channel where he's pushing the limits of what can be done with three balls. You should definitely check out this video and you should look at his opus of other videos so that you can come up with some ideas of some different things you can try too. The McKell brothers posted three videos demonstrating their juggling last week. Here's one of them doing some hat juggling. You can also check out some ball and club juggling at their channel. I love when I find juggling from around the world. It's great to see something that brings us together. As is customary around this time of the year, Turbo released two juggling videos in promotion of the festival in January. One of Diablo, which I won't be featuring here, and the one that you're seeing here by Amelie Bolduc. You may be thinking, but wait, this isn't juggling, and you're right, it's baton twirling. Double baton twirling at that. Anyway, it's pretty great, and you should definitely check out the full video at Turbo's channel. Josh Horton released a compilation video of him and Brody Smith doing their signature tricks. Just in case you missed it, you definitely want to check that out. Phil Thompson is still going strong, and guess what? He's taking requests again. Make sure you message him the trick you want to see. In this video, he does some four club juggling and some seven ball sight swap. At the end, he caps it off with a little clip from Cool Juggler doing something pretty cool. Here's a little clip from Masahiro Kudo, a Japanese Diablist doing some practice. In this video, he shows off his pretty quick and impressive Diablo moves. While we're on the topic of Japan, IJA just released another Tricks of the Month video by Kota Uhashi. This video consists of some really cool and innovative 3 and 4 ball patterns. There's even a little bit of sleight of hand, so he does some things that you just weren't quite expecting. Definitely worth checking out the whole video at the IJA channel. A little hooping for you from one of the best, Rachel Lust, breaking it down in her kitchen. One thing I found while watching this video is that the choreography is on point. It goes so well with the music. You definitely want to check out the whole video at her channel. Comey released two videos last week, one of contact juggling and one of this pinball video. Both fantastic, as you would expect from Comey. I'm not going to lie, whenever Comey releases a video, when it gets to the end, I wish there was more. That was sort of the theme for last week though. There were so many videos that came out that you just didn't want to end. Really great week for juggling. 
On that note, that brings me to my pick of the week, and you're probably wondering, which one did I pick? Well, I chickened out. It's a tie this week. Considering most of you have probably already watched both of these videos, I won't talk about them too much. But the first one we'll touch on is the one by Havard and Lewis Kennedy. This is a video that they've worked all year on to produce. It's got all kinds of great content. It's got other jugglers. It's like a full-length movie. It's awesome. You definitely want to check out the whole thing. You can download it. Just go to Lewis or Havert's Facebook page, and I'm sure you'll be able to find a link. And finally, Ofex Near, edited by Oi Roth. Seriously, an insane video. You'll probably want to watch it like 15 times. At least I did. Ofec continues to push the limits of what a human can juggle, and he's so young I'm excited for what comes in the future. How good can he get? If you haven't seen this video yet, get ready to have your mind blown. As mentioned before, if you want to see a full list of the videos I consider every single week, become a patron for as little as $1 a month at patreon.com. Starting this week, I'll be scrolling a list at the end of the video to thank you for your support. The list is small now, but if you like what I do, head on over and make it a little bit longer. Don't forget you can find the list of the videos featured in this video in the video description. Share, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, keep on juggling. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, be sure to support the channel. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe.